the best possible purchases for your particular setup. And as you guys have probably saw from the, have probably seen from the thumbnail, uh, I am a big fan of the Logitech Proteus 502 Hero mouse. I freaking love that mouse. And I'm definitely excited to be bringing that one to you guys today uh, in, the, uh, in today's live stream. And I'm gonna show you guys everything up close and personal. That's what I've been fiddling with here. Everything, up, there it is, up close and personal with my up close and personal cam. And when I'm doing gaming, I've actually got two of the featured mouse that I'm showing you guys right now in the stream, two of these uh, Proteus mice that you see right here. I freaking love these mice. They're absolutely wonderful. And uh, these Proteus mice, I've got one on this side and one on the other side. And they are really heavily weighted mice. And personally, I've got a huge, huge, huge uh, hand. So it's definitely a device that I need with gigantic hands. And you can put in weights into this mouse. Um, let me go ahead and hit the button, there it is, to feature it. Uh, but you can put weights inside of the mouse uh, to actually make it so that it's more better. There we go, that's, the, that's what we're looking for. That it's, so that it's actually weighted. So if you look underneath the mouse here, uh, you can actually pop the bottom of this thing open and it's got metal weights inside, uh, which I love. Also has a number of programmable triggers on the mouse, which I really enjoy, uh, including uh, two side triggers down here. You've got some DPI triggers, a scroll wheel mouse, left and right click, up and down buttons over here on this side as well. And it's got these super textured grips on the side. As you can see, mine is pretty well used. <laughs> and I've got it on top of these Razer mouse pads. So I actually like this mouse so much. I actually bought two of this freaking mouse. Uh, and I'm crazy about this mouse. So I can't really get enough of it. And on top of that mouse, so for mouse and keyboard input, that's my fave for sure. That's my fave for sure. Uh, but if I'm looking to use controller, which, you know, I ended up using controller, I'd say more often than not, probably. Um, I think that's pretty fair to say. Then what I do use is the Xbox Elite. Oh, by the way, here is the mouse pad that I'm using. So this is the Razer uh, mouse pad. It's ultra, ultra, ultra thin. Look how thin that mouse pad is. That may be the thinnest mouse pad on planet Earth. I don't know how much thinner it can get than that. Do you see how thin that mouse pad is? It's almost non-existent. It's almost like a nano thick. Uh, thank you, Ismail, for following, by the way. It's like at atomically thick, uh, which is great. I've got another one over here, and I like that because I don't want a big mouse pad that I can run my hand into, and I can get my fingers caught on on my desk. This has actually got adhesive on the bottom of it that sticks to your desk, and you can pull it up and down and pull it on and off your desk, which is really, really nice, something that I really enjoy. Uh, so this mouse pad is my favorite mouse pad to go along with that mouse. Got two matching pairs. I liked them so much, I bought two matching pairs. So what can I say? 